drop it down towards the floor, keeping elbow in line with shoulder. And as you do this, press the back of the left hand back behind it. I want you to twist and rotate like heck. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's switch directions. And as you do this, your elbows are gonna start to get sleepy. Don't let them keep lifting up, rotate the hands opposite ways. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. One more set, rotate the other way. Eight, seven, grow taller, six, five, four, three, two, and last set, rotate them out. Go full intensity, just like you would if you were doing a strength exercise, rotate, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Extend the arms out to the sides. We're not done yet. We want to go for full shoulder burnout here. Find your right palm. Start to wrap it up and back. Find your left palm. Rotate the opposite direction. You're wringing out a washcloth. Eight, seven, squeeze it. Six, five, four, three, two. Switch direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one more set, rotate it out, reach the fingertips in opposite directions. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, squeeze as much range out as you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Should be starting to feel that in the shoulders. Give them a roll, shake everything out. Quick calf refill check because we've started doing some movement. Palms up, press the base of your palm, see if it goes from white to normal color in about three seconds. If it does, we are good to go for this Friday workout. If not, loosen the bands just a tad bit. Okay, so a forearm exercise that we typically do that's also mobility are our wrist circles. And so we're earning mobility in the wrist by keeping the forearms completely stable as we do this, and I'm making nice tight fists, you can even imagine you're holding weight. So tucking the elbows in, we've got 40 seconds, wrist circles in three, two, one. Start to circle the wrist around. And like we just experienced with the shoulders, oftentimes when we isolate a joint and really work into it, all the muscles around that joint have to do really hard work to keep it stable and continuing to build range. And that's what we're getting with our forearms. Always starting with our arm bands before our leg bands, working smaller muscles, to bigger muscles, starting with the forearms today. And I don't know if anyone's a rock climber, but I've dabbled myself and having strong forearms is incredibly important. So if you've ever wanted to go rock climbing, that's good for that. Good, last 10. Keep circling the wrist around, isolating elbows in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right, one more set. This time, we're going the opposite direction. Elbows in, fist up, circle the wrist around the other way. Ready, set, let's go. And if you want to add speed here, that's fine. But oftentimes, I notice as people speed up, their forearms start to wiggle. We don't want that. Keep them completely isolated. So adding speed is super hard with mobility because the whole point of it is control. Yeah, there we go. Forms are starting to feel it. Mm -hmm. Half done. Mm -hmm. Good. Elbows in. Ooh, my forms are starting to wiggle. Got to isolate even more. We have 10. Ooh, squeeze those fists. Six, five, four, three two, and one. Shake it out. Familiar exercises to work the triceps and the biceps, and then we'll come down for some more mobility work. First with the triceps, we're taking a bend in the knees. We're doing tricep extension. So as you do this, I want you to not fully pull your fist in towards your shoulders. So our range of motion here is either fully extended, partway in, fully extended, partway in. Okay? We're going in three. Two, one, flat back, out, in, out, in. I'm already feeling that burn. Mm -hmm. Think star fingers reaching out away from the body as you extend, out and in. And this is not a mobility exercise. This is a strength building exercise. So if you want to add speed, by all means, go for it, knowing we also have a second set to do. Out, in, out, in, good. And maybe even see if you can make your range of motion even smaller. Reach, reach, 
Yeah, don't let those triceps release contraction. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Shrug it out. For this next set, you have two options. You can either do the same thing we were doing, fully contracting the tricep back of the arm and then releasing that contraction, or if you're feeling wild, fully contract the tricep, little pulses up and up. But if you take this option, don't let your elbows bend. So go all in for that challenge. Ready, set, go. Whichever variation you're feeling today. Uh-huh. And if you're keeping the triceps contracted the whole time, keep pulling the shoulders down. We don't want to hunch out. Nice spot spine. Up, up. Yes, there we go. Keep going. Let me see who I've got today on our workout. Good. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Last 15 seconds. And today we're only doing 40 second intervals. So relative to yesterday's minute, this should be a cakewalk. You guys have got it. Last 10. Good. Everyone, nice straight arms together. We're going to pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Next up, a tried and true favorite. I want you to imagine that you're holding big old weights. They don't have to be old, but you get the idea. Really, really big weights. Bicep curls. In. Now this time, don't let your bicep ever fully lose contraction. So you're never going to let your arm straighten. It's the opposite of the other exercise. We go in part way, in part way. And the less you extend that arm down, the shorter the range is, the harder it's going to be. Three, two, one, in, lower, up, lower. Squeeze those biceps. Pull those really heavy weights in towards the body. In, yes. Our biceps are our pull muscles. Our triceps are our push muscles. Now we're pulling. Up, lift. Uh -huh, that's it. Good. Imagine you're adding 10 pounds to that load. Ooh, squeeze. It's even harder. Yeah, last 10. Whew. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, shake it out. All right. This time you can do the same thing or you can go super fast. But if you're going super fast, you're not just flopping the arms around. We're contracting. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the whole time. On your mark, get set, 40 seconds. Here we go. In, in, in. Speed's up to you. You can lift big weights. You can lift smaller weights. And this is something we've talked about before in our workout, in how we choose to move our arms and the speed at which we choose to move can actually control the type of muscle that I build. So if I move really slow, contract, I'm building slightly bigger muscles than if I'm just going for speed and I'm building a little bit leaner muscle. So that's one of the cool things about the band. Last 10 seconds, up, up, uh-huh. We're building no matter what we're doing for six, five, four, three, two, and one. My arms are tired. Okay, next up. Plank, shoulder, circles to floor. I completely made that name up because there's no name for this exercise. It's something I invented just to torture our shoulders. So I make my way into a plank position. I take my left arm up and back. I take my right arm up and back. I lower all the way down to the floor. I push all the way back up, and then I do it again. And as you do your arm circles, none of this, no flopping, nice, straight, strong arms, switch sides, and then come all the way down and all the way back up. Totally cool to do this on the knees. One, two, down, back up, okay? So pick your position. We're doing 240 second first in three, two, one, let me see you move. Good, and as you do those shoulder circles, think about your hips staying squared off to the floor, and as you press back up, pressing your body up in one nice long line without letting your hips sag, half done. Awesome job, Instagram. Good job, Zoom. Got my two platforms going at once here. Nice, Quentin, looks great. Bonnie, that lift was beautiful. 
George, I like those circles. You guys, you guys, so good. Last five, see if you can do one more. Four, three, two, and drop your knees and rest. I have to say, I keep having to make the workouts more and more challenging because every time I toss something new your way, everyone's doing it without fail and it looks great. All right, on that note, let's do one more. Make your way into plank or stay on your knees, whichever one you choose. We're going in three, two, one. I go circle. Circle all the way down, all the way up. Yeah, and the slower on that drop and that lift, the more you're going to work the muscles of the chest and the muscles of the triceps. So try and take it nice and slow. We're half done, keeping those arms really straight on the circle, challenging our shoulder joints to get more mobile. Aha, uh -huh. last 10. Let me see if you can do one more for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good, give your shoulders a shrug. Take a gander at your screen for the next exercise. So this time we're working into the shoulders again, but instead of working our shoulders in this plane of motion, we're working them out to the sides. So I'm in a forearm plank, and I want you to think about your belly button staring down towards the floor the entire time, and you have almost like a line from your belly button to the floor. Don't let that line move. I go side, up, side, up. So I have a bend in my elbow as I bring it out to the side and my hips aren't moving. That line is straight down the whole time. Up, up. So I'm working my shoulders out to the side, okay? We're going in four, three, two, let's go. On the forearm. And you can step your feet as wide as you want. Take your time and lift the outer edge of the elbow as high as you can, up and up. You can lift or you can also really squeeze at the top to get it up there, engaging all the muscles of the back. Those wonderful muscles that support our posture. Good. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yep. You look good. Last six, five, four, three, two, and rest. We have one more set. Then we're gonna do some mobility work for our spine, very important. And then we're gonna take off our bands and have our question of the day. After our heart rate boost, can't forget the heart rate boost. All right, back into forearm plank. Side lift in three, two, one. Here we go, 40 seconds. You go up, up. Almost imagine you're punching with the outer edge of your elbow. Up, up. Yes, lift, lift. Good. As you're doing this, keep pulling your heels back, creating traction in your spine. It'll help take some of the weight off. And you guys can totally do these ones on your knees too. We've had one heck of a workout week, so I can only imagine you're nice and tired, but you still look so great. Yes, last 10. Good, keep moving, keep moving, you've got it. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone make your way onto your palms. And keeping your hips stacked over top your knees, I wanna walk my arms forward, but I don't wanna let my elbows touch the mat. So keep walking your arms forward, your fingertips, until you can drop the chest down through your arms. And notice if your forearms start to hit the floor, then you have more space in your shoulders to walk the fingertips forward. And we're gonna take three breaths here, getting a big old shoulder stretch. Good. And start to walk the hands back towards the body. For our spinal mobility, this is called cat-cow. We've done some of this before. As you inhale, lift your collarbones and your tailbone up. Think spinal extension, big back bend. And as you exhale, pull your belly button in, spinal flexion, rounding it out. Inhale, spinal extension, lift the chest and the tailbone. 
exhale, spinal flexion, round down. Good, let's take three more. Inhale up, exhale round. Inhale up, exhale round. And last one, lift the chest, the tailbone up, drop your belly button down, big old back bend, and then round out the spine. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back behind you. Oh yeah, we're going to full yoga for a moment. And press the floor away from you with the base of your palm. We're also getting a hamstring stretch here and our arms are working. And then start to bend the knees, walk your hands back towards your feet and nice and slowly roll up to stand. We have our first cardio boost of the day. So we've got three moves. First move, elbow to knee, side kick. I go up, kick, up, kick. If you need to add some hop in your steps, by all means, do it. That's first 30 seconds. Second 30 seconds, air squat with overhead reach. I go down, up, down, up. Why am I adding that overhead reach? Because when I do that, I'm not only increasing mobility of my hips with that squat, I'm also increasing mobility of my shoulders. And what's gonna happen? As you start to drop down into the squat, you're gonna wanna bend your elbows. So it's gonna look like this. Try not to do that, okay? So go down, keep those arms straight, then come back up. You might notice it alters the depth of your squat a little bit, and that's what we want, okay? Last move, good old fashioned mountain climbers. We go up, 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 okay? First 30 seconds, elbow to knee, side kick in three, two, one. Here we go, up, kick, up, kick. You can do it standing or you can bounce. There we go. Now we're moving. It's Fun Pants Friday. <laughs> kick up and kick. Last 10. All the way, get those legs up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Air squat, overhead reach. Ready, set, go. We go down, up, down, up. Keep your arms straight the whole time. Notice it might require that you go a little bit slower. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Getting those arms as close towards the ears as you can. Uh -huh. Good. Ooh, glutes are getting tired. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two. Everyone make your way down into squats. Root your hands into the floor. Step back into plank position. Mountain climbers, ready, set, go. 30 seconds. Up, 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 up. You pick your pace. If you need to drop your knees, that's fine. Pulling knees in towards nose the whole time. Let's go. Pick it up. 10 more seconds. Give me everything you've got. This is the last exercise we're doing with our arm bands on. We have eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and rest. Whew. Awesome. Pop your armbands off. Sip the water all around. And we'll transition into leg work. And we have a question of the day, as we always have. Yesterday, the question of the day was, describe yourself in one word. And I like that. We got a lot of really cool answers. Today, the question of the day is, hmm, let's think about this. Okay, let's keep it simple. Peanut butter or jelly? Which one, if you had to pick? We're going really easy this Friday. Steve, instantly, peanut butter. Also, Steve, I got your text. I'll respond to you after this. <laughs> peanut butter. Peanut butter? Wait, you know? what was the question? The question was, if you had to pick peanut butter, or jelly. She says, yes, it should only move a little, not include peanut. Oh, not inches. Oh, okay, that was a question about That was a question to Quentin <laughs> yeah. answering. Yeah. I was like, thank hmm, you. A little a little bit of peanut butter? Jelly, hundred percent coconut peanut butter. I knew oh. that was coming. <laughs> okay, coconut peanut butter. <laughs>
<laughs> Seems like none, coconut butter, even though I felt that, that was Chris. <laughs> awesome. Jelly, 100%. Diane says peanut butter with celery. Okay. okay. I see you guys. Great idea, Chris. <laughs> The more coconut, the more better. Yes. And the more better. Okay. What else we got? Good idea. Okay. I'm happy with these answers. I think for the most part, it looks like we're team peanut butter. Sorry, Quentin. I'm team peanut butter as well. But there's nothing wrong with some good jelly. All right. Leg bands are going on. Maybe we should share our favorite peanut butter recipes. That are really crazy. All right. Bands on, come on up to stand. Adjusting that outer tubing, hands to it, pick it up, out to the side. And we're gonna start with some standing mobility work. And so that's a nice way of saying we're starting with balance, we're doing balance, okay? So feel free to grab onto a wall or a chair or something. That's my imaginary wall. And we're gonna think about external rotation of the leg in the hip socket. And so starting to lift the right foot off the floor, you're gonna rotate that knee out to the right as far as you can. Now there's a tendency here to kind of twist. Keep your hips even. So take your hands to your hips, pull it back through center, rotate out to the side, pull it back through center. Mm -hmm. And if it's not working to keep your leg this far off the floor, that's fine. Take it a little bit lower. You can even do this on your big toe. Out and in. Out and in. Good. Five. Four. Using your core to keep your body stable. Three. In two, we're going to hold it. Two. Last one. Open that knee. Little pulses out to the right. Eight. Seven. Six. Squeeze it. Five. Yes. Yeah. Four, three, two, and one. Good job, gang. Let's do the other side. Left leg up. Find your balance. Open it up and close it. Open it up and close it. That's the step. Good. Look at all of us standing on one leg like it's easy. I love it. Good. Four more. Keep your foot flexed, toes in towards the shin. In two, we're going to pull. And last one, pulse that knee open. Keep pulling your right hip back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, let's start to work into our calves. And then we're gonna do our first heart rate boost with the leg bands, which is a lot of external hip rotation out to the side. So for our calves today, we're gonna work on mobility in our legs by picking our heels up, you drop the butt down to the heels, as low as you can go, you rise up. And you can either drop your heels or keep them lifted the whole time. Now this might look very different for different people. If getting your butt down is not happening, you can always just practice heel raises. You can always hold on to something to help you here. So let's all try one together. And I'll go ahead and start my time. Heels up. Bend into the knees, drop your butt down towards your heels as low as you can go, and then rise on up to stand, and either drop and lift your heels or keep, keep them up the whole time. We go down, we go up. Good, keep going. As you're doing this, we don't wanna let our knees play out to the sides. Imagine there are two arrows pointing forwards the whole time, down and up. And yes, it's balanced and it works it like heck. My calves have been sore all week from the work we've been doing. Good, last 10. Keep those heels off the floor for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set your heels down, shake it out. Nice. We're gonna do that again. Same thing. Uh, if you've already been getting your butt down towards your heels, keep going. If you have not, just keep going deeper and deeper. Take your time. This isn't about number of reps. It's really about keeping your heels up and then working into that, okay? Three, two, one. Here we go. Maybe even take it in slow motion. Ooh. Coming up really slowly, getting those heels as high as you can. Nice. Keep going. Good. 
Jim, that looks great. Jeff looks good. Nice job, guys. Lisa looks wonderful. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. George, I like the overhead. Last 10. Good. Keep those knees facing forward the whole time. No rotation here. Keep them straight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. First cardio boost set with the legs. Hands behind the head. Elbow to knee. Side kick in three, two, one. Let's go. Up. Kick. Up. Kick. Let me see some prep in your step. Good. Get those legs up even higher. Let me see that mobility. Boom. There we go. Nice. Half done. We're flying. Last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Air squat, overhead reach. Let's go. Down, up, down, up. Keep your arms straight. And maybe that means that you only reach out to here. Better that than this. Okay? Keep going. Yes. Get your butt even lower. Down, up, down, up. Last 10. Keep it going. I know we're burning. Then we're going to come down for mountain climbers in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down to the floor. Let's get our heart going in three, two, one. Mountain climbers up, 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 up. That's the stuff. Push the floor away from you with your hands. Keep those arms active, making sure our butts aren't piking up into the air. Keep it down. Woo. Half done. Let's do it, Friday. We know we get a stretch in at the end of this workout, so let's give it all we've got for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. One of my favorite Cossack squats. I step the legs wide. Keeping both heels rooted into the floor the entire time. I bend into the left knee. I get really low, I come back up, bend into the right knee, get really low, come back up. I do not expect you to go that low. Do your best, take your time, go slow. Mobility, control of our body, not speed, okay? Now, as you go over to the side, this heel is gonna wanna pop up. Don't let it, okay? We're going in three, two, one, all the way over. And as you come back up, press into the heel, squeeze your glutes, rise. Over to the other side, press your heels, squeeze your butt, come back up through center, keep going side to side. If you want more of a challenge, take your hands behind your head, and as you come down, drop your elbow down towards the floor, come back up. Sink into it, elbow down, rise back up. Now, noticing here that I'm not slouching out my spine, I'm keeping it straight, and I'm driving my hips back behind me. Last 10 seconds. Mm-hmm, beautiful. Nice, Ethan. Good, four, three, two, and one. Take it out. Okay, second set. After this, we have our last heart rate boost of the day. Couple more exercises. So our legs aren't too insane today. We had a plenty of hard day yesterday. Set those feet wide, feet are parallel, go inside to side, ready, set, go. Over to the side, back up through center, and switch, back up through center. Now the arms are totally optional. I'd rather you keep your hands on your hips and work deeper into your legs. If that's gonna give you greater benefit. Only add the arms if you're feeling super comfortable with the leg part and you can get your butt really low. Nice. Good. Nice job, Instagram. Beautiful work. Last 10. Good, we're gonna come up to stand in five, four, three, two. Keep your legs wide, take your hands behind your head. With a straight spine, hinge forward, squeeze your glutes, rise up. Now, I want you to keep your legs straight and your back straight, none of this slouchy stuff. Hinge and rise. Three more. 
Nice. Think back bend. Final extension. Two. And last one. Hinge and hold it. Reach your arms back behind you. Shoulders and fingertips are on one long line as you drop your belly down. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come back up nice and slowly. We're going into our last cardio burst of the day. Hands behind the head. Ready, set, go. Elbow to knee, kick. Up, kick. Woo. Yes. I have to say, just from doing these workouts with you guys, my kicks have gotten way better. <laughs> there we go. Half done. Last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Air squat, overhead reach. Let's go. Down, up, down, up. You can kill me. <laughs> Something about getting the arms involved makes it really hard. That's what we want. Yeah. Up. Keep going. Last 10. Whew. Good. After this, we're coming down for mountain climbers in six, five, four, three, two. Squat into it. Drop your hands down. Walk out. Plank position. 30 seconds. Mountain climbers. Let's go. Yes. Doing your best to keep the shoulders and the body stable. We really only want the legs to be moving. Climb it, Chris. Awesome. Yes. Half done. Go, Lily. Woo. Last 10 seconds, give me everything you've got. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Drop your knees, stay on the floor. All right. Next up, plank, squat, jump back. So I come into plank position. I walk up, up into squat, jump back. Up, up, jump back. And the goal here is to get your feet all the way outside your hands. Now that requires not only hip mobility, but also core strength. So it doesn't have to be fast, even if it looks like this. And then you either step back or you can jump back, depending what you want. But the focus here is getting your legs up and your butt down, okay? 40 seconds, two sets, ready, set, go. Plank to squat, jump back. Mm -hmm. And the reason we're not jumping up is because I want you to really control your outer hips, squeeze it, take your time, and then release them back behind you. All right. I just saw peanut butter makes vanilla ice cream better. I can only imagine. Now I want ice cream. Half done. All right. Last 10 seconds. Let me see if you can do one more, but make it good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and drop the knees. Circle the hips around one direction. Move them around the other direction. Come back through center. Make your way into plank. Second set. Ready, set, go. We step. Step, hop back. Time's rolling. Gotta get those feet up even higher. After this, we're gonna take a brief sip of water and then we have two more exercises with the legs. Awesome, John. Half done. Good, Jim. Guys, so good. Last 10. Bonnie, I can't really see you, but I know you're doing great. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone come up to stand. Grab a sip of water. Let's take a brief pause, and then we'll keep working. Kayleen's not on today. Where'd she go? We have no Gabe. Chris, you got to get your summer in line. <laughs> All right, next up, lunge, kick, 
back. I am in a lunge position. Starting with my right foot back. I drop my knee down, lift up, hinge, kick back. Down, up, hinge, kick. Okay? So only the right leg is back. We're only working that side. All right. Ready, set, go. I drop the knee down, up, hinge, kick, down, up, hinge, kick. Keep going at your own pace and doing your best to keep that back leg straight. It doesn't have to be a huge kick, but I want us to think about as we hinge forward, we're not slouching forward, we're hinging at the hips, keeping a little bit of a back bend here, up. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Last 10 seconds and we're gonna go right into the other side. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and step the right foot up, left foot back, ready, set, go. I go down. Up, hinge, kick, down. Up, hinge, kick. You guys have got it. Diane, it looks so good. Yes! Our balance. Leave them. Fantastic kick. Look at that. She's flying. Last 10. Good, Chris. I love it. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ethan, I haven't given you a lot of love today, but you're doing great. Step that foot up. Hands to opposite shoulders. Three good mornings, and we're going to do one more set. Hinge, lift. I'm seeing some slouching, the little slouches. Think lengthening from your belly button to your chin. Keep lengthening that line. Don't let it shorten. Mm -hmm. Last one. All right, one more set. Step the right foot back. Make sure you're not on a tightrope. If you need to scoot your feet farther apart, do it. Set yourself up to succeed. Ready, set, go. Down, up, hinge, kick. If you need more of a challenge, hands behind the head. Keep bending into the left leg. Keep it deep, even deeper. Half done, then we're gonna go right to the other side, then we have one more exercise. Yes! Good. Awesome, last 10. Holy, that is a deep lunge, I like it. Good, fast, four, three, two, switch it up, left foot back, ready, set, go, down, up, hinge, kick. See if you can get your back knee all the way to the floor. Woo. Keeping that back leg nice and straight as you kick it up. Engaging your hamstring, engaging your glute. The whole back of the leg is firing. Powerful kick. Good. Last 10. See if you can give me two more. Go, Jeff. We have seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, last exercise of the day for the legs. Uh, then we're gonna do one thing for our core and we're going full stretch mode. It is a bear crawl kick back. So I'm on my hands and knees. By nature, a bear is when we hover our knees off the floor. I go one, two, three, push back, push forward. One, two, three, push back, push forward. Notice this doesn't happen. This doesn't happen. My back is flat. My knees stay one inch off the floor. We're doing that for one minute. We have one core move and then we're stretching. Can we do it? Absolutely. On the hands and knees, tuck your toes, get your knees off the floor, ready, set, let's roll. One minute, one, two, three, butt back. Foot forward. Yes, and the thighs, the thighs are gonna be burning here. Yes, keep those knees lightly off the floor. Back, 
forward. Your spine stays flat the entire time. Ooh-wee! Amazing job. We are half done, guys. Keep fighting it. Your arms are working. Your core is working. Your quads and your glutes are working. Everything is firing. See if you can drop your hips down half an inch closer to the floor, please. Last 20 seconds. Ooh, if you feel that burn and you really want to stop, just stop walking, but don't let your knees touch the floor. We can do this. Last 10. Breathe through it. Work through it. You know we're coming into that home stretch for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Last up for the core. One minute of work. I have my hands behind my head. I kick my leg up. Elbow to knee, other side. Up, elbow to knee. Okay, we're going side to side. Twist, kick, twist. One minute, three, two, one. Here we go. Kick, twist, kick, twist. That's the stuff. Now, notice if you're slouching. Don't slouch. Get your chest up. Nice straight side. In, kick, in. Uh-huh. Keep it up, keep it up. Think about using the muscles of your core. Zip the belly button all the way up to the chin. Keep pressing the top of the head towards your ceiling. Half done. Uh-huh. Good. Up, twist. Up, twist. We have 15 more seconds. Go even taller. You can do a home stretch. Then we're going to get a quad release because we've been doing a lot of work for those guys today. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew! Get rid of those bands. All right. This is what Fridays are made for. Quad stretch. Okay. I'm all tangled up in my goodness. Getting the bands over to one side. Now, you have a couple options here. Option number one, which is a very, very deep stretch, is you're going to make your way down onto your belly. You're going to reach back with your right hand, grab your right foot, and try and kick the foot into the hand maybe even get it off the floor. If this just is not working, you're gonna come over onto your left side and do the same thing, just on your side. So wherever you are, my knees are parallel here. My knees are parallel here. I wanna pull the right knee away from the left, okay? You're either on your side or you're on your belly. Either one, fantastic stretch for the right quad. Think how you can keep creating length across the front of the hip flexor and the whole quad muscle by pulling the leg back. Nice. 10 more seconds. Keep kicking foot into the hand, squeeze your glutes to protect your spine. Five, four, three, two, and release it. Give your hips a rock side to side. And let's switch sides this time. Kicking the left foot back, grabbing it. Pulling the knee back. And you, if you're on your belly, you can always rest your chin on your arm. Try and get that thigh up and off the floor. And same thing if you're on your side. Just keep pulling the top knee back away from you. Squeezing your butt. Last 10 seconds. See if you can get that knee up even higher. Mm-hmm. We have four, three, two, and one. Now start to make your way onto your form. We're gonna give our spine a stretch. For some, this might be plenty of a back bend for you. If you're wanting a little bit more, spread your fingers nice and wide. And I want you to imagine that you're pushing the floor away from you so much so that you can start to come off your elbow. And I don't expect the arms to go fully straight. It's just if your body is wanting or needing that deep of a back bend. Totally cool to be resting right here. 
And again, squeezing our glutes to protect our back. And then start to make your way down into your forearms. Tuck the knees under, pull onto your palms. Spread the knees nice and wide. Think a little bit wider than hip distance. Let your big toes come together. And I'm gonna press my butt back towards my heels, letting the arms extend forward and just resting my forehead towards the floor. And this is called the child's pose. I have no idea why, but it is. And I wanna keep finding length from my tailbone to the tips of my fingers. So pulling your butt back, walking your fingers forward. And don't worry about looking at the screen. As long as you're hanging out here, you're in, the, in a good stretch. And then once you're here, start to walk both hands over to the right. Take your left palm on top of your right hand. Big side body stretch. And continuing to lengthen the line from my left hip to my left pinky finger. And then relax your neck, your shoulders, your jaw. Start to walk both hands back to center. And then this time, take them over to the left, right palm on top of the left hand as you continue to press your butt back. This time, lengthening the line from the right hip to the right pinky finger. Relaxing the forehead, the tongue. And then walk your hands back to center. Come on to hands and knees and drop the hips over to one side. We're going to make our way down onto our back for our last stretches. And then once you come all the way down, grab the back of the right thigh. Start to work that leg up and down towards straight, opening up the back of the hamstring. And I'd like the knee to be in line with your hip. If you want a deeper stretch, keep pulling your knee in towards your belly button. And you won't be able to fully straighten the leg. And that's what we want, an active hamstring stretch. Good. Now keep the right leg in your hand. Root the left foot into the floor. And take the right ankle over left knee, figure four stretch. And you can reach through the legs here, thread the needle. Give yourself a rock side to side. And this time relaxing the back of the head, the shoulders. And if you notice yourself starting to yawn here, that's really common as our bodies relax. And now keeping the feet exactly where they are, go ahead and release the left foot down onto the floor. Release your arms out to the sides and let both legs fall over to the left for a hip release and a spinal twist. Two more breaths. And bring the leg back to center. Release the right leg onto the floor. Grab the back of the left leg and start to work it towards straight and rebend it for the hamstring release. And we're going to do the other side. Then we're going to come up to sit, and that'll be our workout for today. Just only got a couple more here. And last two. And go ahead and root the right foot into the floor. Take left ankle over right knee, figure four steps, reach through, thread the needle.
Good, and go ahead and root the right foot into the floor. Release arms and let both legs fall over to the right. Three more breaths. And bring them back to center. Unhook the left ankle. Pull both knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Rock side to side. And then start to rock up and down along the spine until you make your way up to sit. Extend those legs long. One last hamstring stretch. And slowly roll up to sit. Reach the arms up. Big shoulder stretch. And bring the arms down. Palms together. Give yourself a round of applause. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Thank you very much. Good job. I'll see everyone next week. Bye. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.